Alrighty. Good morning, Edna. Good morning. How's it going today? It's going. Yeah? I woke up this morning. Can't complain. There you go. <laughs> so uh, how how has this morning been? So far it's been it's been alright. Yeah. A typical morning in Camden. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your use. Um, my mom started drugging me when I was seven. She started crushing up Percocets and mixing it with my lunch and stuff in the summer and I would pass out because it was I wasn't immune to it so I would pass out and she would do whatever she had to do for her drug when I turned eight she started using me to do what she had to do for her drug so but, selling you yeah I was pregnant at 15 had my first son stayed in school had three jobs but I was still getting high because my drug habit never stopped when she started it. So what were you on? Percocets. Per okay. How was, much do you recall? Um, I was getting two prescriptions of 180 pills every two weeks. Wow. What strength? Uh, 30 milligrams and wow. 15 milligrams. 30 is like the max, right? Right. I have a, I had a, we used to have a quack doctor where you just showed him a boob and he'd give you anything you want. So that boob was nothing to show to get that script. So is that what brought you down the road you're on now? Um, my grandmom died when I was pregnant, which I was clean when I was pregnant with my second child. And then when she passed away, I didn't get high until I had my second child. But when I had him, I started getting high and I just went downhill from there. Hmm. I went from Percocet, I was doing 20 a day, 20, 30s, popping them a day, sniffing them, anything I could just get high off of. Like, it was bad. It was really bad. And then... I was going to rehab, and someone the day before I left introduced me to heroin. I went to rehab, and I left rehab to come get high on heroin because I fell in love with it the day before I went to rehab. Wow. My, I come from a family that gets high. Both parents get high. Um, my grandfather used to drink. My brother is a schizophrenic but gets high. So I come from a family of drug users. Hmm. And that basically paved the way for where you're at now then it did so how do you uh how do you unpave that try to get clean and get my life back together okay without getting high i don't even like to get high i just get high to stay normal because i don't want to feel the sickness so if you were to just stop cold turkey today i wouldn't be able to if i was if i had a detox to go to right now i'd pack my clothes and i'd go Right, but what I'm wondering, how, how long is the sick? Um, it lasts a long time. Like, even months after you're with... It, what, it, what happens is, is it's, it, it binds your body up. So once you're sober and you start eating again, it just all runs right through you. So you deal with that for months afterwards. When I went to jail, they gave me Librium. The Librium, I slept for seven days and wasn't sick when I woke up. But I was clean. I wish I can get my hands on it because I would do it. <laughs> I just it's not an this. option? I don't know where to get it. It's not, if you, it's not a street drug. drug. It's, it's not. It, it's mainly used for alcohol withdrawal and for seizures. But they give it to people that are on heroin that say they take, or they drink and stuff and do heroin. But that shit makes you sleep for hours. It's great. Yeah, good sleep. It's a great sleep because you don't feel anything. And then when you wake up seven days later, you're like, wow, I'm not sick no more. And hungry. Or, yeah, and then you're hungry and you just eat. But the pain from the fentanyl, because I'm not addicted to heroin anymore. I'm addicted to fentanyl. So the pain from the fentanyl is excruciating pain. It hurts so bad. Speaking of eating. I need to eat more. What is your diet like? I'm so stressed out right now that it, it's when I eat. Okay. Some days I don't eat at all because I'm just in my head a lot. When you do eat, what are you eating? Anything I can get my hands on. I mean, cheesesteak or? Che mostly cheesesteak. Cheesesteak? Yeah. <laughs> I love cheesesteak. Wow, I nailed that one, huh? <laughs> really good. I love cheesesteaks. I get them from the bodega up the street all the time. Okay. I love cheesesteaks. <clears throat> Any, anything healthy? Um, I love a lot of fruit. I eat a lot of fruit all the time, but I've been trying to eat more because I feel sick. Like I feel like I look sick, and I don't like it. I'd say you definitely lost weight. Yeah, between I lost our, a lot of weight. our last 
conversation what was that a week or so ago yeah a week I, ago. i've noticed a difference so i don't like it that's it's not good something's causing that and uh i gotta fix it well you have to figure out what it is i think i know what it is because i smoke the buddha butt too to help with the fentanyl so i don't get sick at all is that a lesser evil no it's the same withdrawal you still feel shitty like you do if you did heroin just not as intense okay so it's it's not good or bad it just, it's same yeah it's it's another withdrawal wow now is it like a combination withdrawal can you go through withdrawal for both um now if i just stick with the fentanyl i won't feel the buddha but if i didn't if i didn't do the fentanyl i would completely go through the buddha withdrawal okay wow um and how much are you using right now um four to five bags a day okay so what's that 50 bucks or 100 bucks uh like 40 or no four to five bags is 20 bucks a day oh, 20, 20 25 bucks okay because i only buy nicks okay I don't I buy was. yeah all right um i think that's about all i have anything else you want to add i just like um christmas is coming oh okay and what do you want thank your... you jules for the jules brother for the blanket i like it a lot and christmas i just like arts and crafts stuff okay that's awesome we'll see what we can put together for okay. you all thank right thank you guys thank you all done